This is actually what he said. He goes, but the, I am crippled. <laughs> right? And the guy, the guy was doing the f***ing worst limp I've ever seen. The guy, the guy was doing a walk. Like, you know, like if you took a out and then you went, ah, the toilet roll is like in the hot press. And you have to like walk with your legs apart and not let your cheeks touch in the f***ing hot press to get the toilet roll. I was going hard on the mate. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Pause. Uh, <laughs> And then I went for breakfast. <laughs> yeah! Oh, you can't polish a chode, like. You can't polish a chode. No. <laughs> you can roll it in glitter. <laughs> but you can't. You can put it in Balenciaga. <laughs> yeah. Still looks like a cock. <laughs> she turned right. She turned right. <laughs> <laughs> she turned right. Someone throw a fag out of a brain. <laughs> 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 she turned right. <laughs> you need slap on the side. <laughs> Is your CD scratch? <laughs> That's us, my. Welcome back to. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'm shut up. I'm just getting. I'm coming. <laughs> Bomb squad. Wrong. Oh, uh, some. <laughs> Sunday service. Yes. We return. Yes. The two travellers are back. I'm fucking tuckered out, boys. He's pooped. Uh, <laughs> this is the closest we've ever recorded to a release. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, we're down to the wire, but we're not breaking that consistency. 12 hours. Tw oh, well, 12 hours. Now. <laughs> you've been tight shifting, ain't you? Hope you're not lying this morning, big man. <laughs> hope you're an early Sunday dinner weekend again. <laughs> yeah, we don't fucking see you tonight. It'll be a fucking fulfill bar. Glued to that seat. <laughs> All night! You gotta feed the algo. Shovel the coal into that algo. No, we can't break the chain now, like, you know. 6 a.m. every Monday, this is where it's at. Running in my asshole. Uh, <laughs> Come break the chain, lad. No. <laughs> I can already tell it's going to be a delirious episode. Delirious. Yeah. Uh, with the two boys, first of all, if, see before, stop this podcast, right? And go on the fucking Ticketmaster and get a ticket for the live podcast, Live Bomb Squad, 1st of September. Waterfront Hall. Get on at the fuck. Get on at the fuck. I haven't even had a sales report for a while, but the motherfucker's well over half sold. Yeah. So we're getting down to the crumbs. Get in there. It's going to be a hot party. Get them back seats. Get the binoculars out. <laughs> and we'll be fucking sold out. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, yeah. back to regular <laughs> transmission. <laughs> uh, the two boys. The lads have been traveling. Oh, wow. I've been Tenerife for a week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tenerife. Uh, you had some good fits on too. Mr. Jack Daniels. Uh, <laughs> and you've been, where have you not been? Oh, sir. The guy's been. I've been everywhere, man. I'll do a checklist. Hawaii. Yes. California. Aye. London. Yes. New York. Aye. Aye, briefly. Yeah. And he stops off. No, it, well, I stopped off in jet. The flight on the way back was like a nightmare. Yeah. Like, there's a reason why I don't like like Hawaii is beautiful but coming back from it you're like right Hawaii to LAX that was five and a half hours and a four hour layover in LAX then a flight from LAX to New York that was another five and a half hours and then there was a two hour layover there and a flight from JFK to Dublin wrong button wrong. Um, I yeah that's a fucking nightmare nothing like you go travelling and you enjoy yourself and then the, the trip home you're like Oh, why, full the, why, why the fuck did I do that? Full why the fuck did I do that? Just no serotonin left me. I'd been on a bander for it, two it, weeks. It's like having a lovely, you know, lovely seven course tasting menu yeah. and then drinking too much and bugging it back up. That's that's what holidays like. Yeah. You're like, it was nice. Fuck's but got a bug here too. I took one there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you will bug later when I give you one of these fish chips. Hey, what is the crack here? Shout, 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 out, shout out to our boy, uh, Willie Palmer, real name, no gimmicks. Real name. Uh, and uh, <laughs> he. <laughs> The man is uh, in Norway for whatever fucking reason. And he sent me a photo and I was like, here lad, is that a fjord? And he goes, it fucking is too. Yeah. And he goes, I'll send, you know, you're big into the, you're big into the Nicky pouches. Or is the column over there? Well, he he wrote on the letter, handwritten letter and all, shout out. Uh, sn like S-N-U-S, -S, pronounced sn like snooze, as in goose. Yeah. So it must be snooze. 
This is like it's like so the guy the guy sent us a fucking lucky bag of shit here. Um, but he, he knows I've been on the Nicky pouches, so he sent me extra strong. And these are the these are the real gear. These are straight from the horses' teats. These ones. Jalapeno and lime. Hey, why's your hand shaking so much? Alcoholics. Uh, I thought so. <laughs> um, and then this one says jalapeno and lime flavored. So I'll, I'll pop one. Do you want to pop one of these? Uh, not really, but we'll do a taste. <laughs> we'll do a taste test every ten minutes. Get that into you. It smells like fucking Jeff. Oh, well, nice catch. That was lovely. Michael Jordan. I I, I slobbered on myself. Let's we'll see how. Oof. I hope it's more lime than jalapeno. Well, judging by the smell, I think it is. Yeah. But anyway, send us a lucky bag. You got these things shaped like fish. You got chocolate bars and shit. And then they're the actual like fish. He put, he's do- he put these in a nap- like a nappy bag. To, like double. Oh, they're triple bagged. That's like, how, that's like how people get reefer delivered to them from the dark web. They must just smell like fucking <laughs> <laughs> vacuum pack. Just barbecued blurt. Ugh. So he's like, he's triple vacuum packed them. Yeah, because he said there was some nice snacks and some not so nice snacks. I'm going to assume these are in the not so nice Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to the one that says caramel. Yeah. You know, that's probably, probably. going to be nice. The one that says uh, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking torrefisk chips. The one that's triple wrapped, probably a wee bit of stank to it. Yeah. <laughs> Dried out fish. Man, fuck Europe. Is that, that Europe? Fucking <laughs> 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 idiots. <laughs> yeah. You know, send me some fucking, you know. I've been in Tannery for a week and you, you sort of go like, you know, people people use the umbrella term white people. Mm-hmm. And you're like, there's absolutely leagues within leagues in the white oh, people. 100%. Oh, my it's God. Hierarchy, like, oh, yeah. What was the whitest thing you saw at the, the resort? The, the fucking six foot seven, like 60 year old French guy who was like a fucking nerd mm-hmm. but you know he's got loads of money obviously and the wife has him and the wife's black too you've got mixed kids you know mm-hmm. which he's hot he's a fucking dork for yeah. want of a better word mm-hmm. the dork the guy's a fucking dweeb <laughs> 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 and uh he's gone too i seen uh, he made a girl re look at it here's for a he made a girl remake an omelette because oh. she didn't put tomatoes in it so we're like put tomatoes in the side you fucking white i was bitch. about to say a slur there out of anger yeah <laughs> honky bitch <laughs> Yeah, I'll give it. And he, uh, he uh, basically fucking, um, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. He's just the he, he was the whitest guy because mm-hmm. he was just he he was uh, he had on like the best gear, mm-hmm. designer gear, looked like a chode, aye, and had the hot wife clearly for the cash. Now you can't polish a chode like you can't polish a chode. No. <laughs> you can roll it in glitter, <laughs> but you can't. You can put it in Balenciaga. <laughs> Yeah. So that looks like a cock. <laughs> yeah, the Prada shoes look like he bought them out of Dunn's. Yeah. Like, I was like, bro, that's on the wrong fucking... They're naff now. I see, I've seen the pair of them kicking about the odd time and yeah. they never look great. I was like, yeah, these aren't even as good as an Air Force One. Yeah. Yeah, but I I mean, like, I, I see that guy and I go, I'm not that white. No. I'm not that sort of white. Like, nah. You know? That's like old white money. Although when I start, when I start, I mean, this is a holiday t-shirt that arrived four days into my holiday. Yeah, it's a nice t-shirt. To, to mid Tyrone. Um, but... I did get when I started to get a wee bit of a baseline tan on. Mm-hmm. Baseline, you know, people would be like, "Español, English," yeah. and I'm like, "English lot." <laughs> I know I'm fooling you with a, fooling you with a bronze tan here, <laughs> but uh, don't worry about it. You did come back. Huh? T- you came back with a bit of tan, like well, uh, you know, more than a, uh, uh, you know, not as much as I'd like because we were we were shielding. Our small little piglet from the sun. Yes. So I didn't get that much sun, but I would have been fucking Ray Winston at the start of Sexy Beast if I had my way, you know. Then you usually tan? I'm sizzling. I'm boiling. Um, well, yeah, got a wee bit of tan there. Is that not brownish? That's what I was saying to you. I, do, I, do, I, don't, I don't go like pinky burn. Yeah, that's I, me. I do get a tan. I got toasted. You know? um, I was actually the first day in Hawaii. We went to the beach and I fucking lathered myself. Factor 50. Goose fat. Went into the ocean for literally about 20 minutes. Came out in the 10 minute window of like getting my stuff and reapplying the sunscreen. Toasted. It doesn't take and then <laughs> the next day, we went to this waterfall, right? So I swear to God, because fucking California was just a rip. That was a week band there. Up every night till 5 a.m. Yep. Up every day at like 8 a.m. Best man duties, you know? And then I uh, went there. Ocean took me on. It felt like an absolute fucking survivor. Because it was like, you know, we were in the water. That was nice and all. And then she's like, do you want to go on a hike to this like waterfall? I had a pair, I had a pair of flip-flops on me. First ever flip-flops. Uh-huh. Um, Gucci. And then uh, we were going up this like hike. You didn't make your chief level. No, I did not. Target. <laughs> Target. Uh, so, so one of us, hey, great. Fucking like, it was like fucking Colgate Mountain. It was like, it looked nice, but fuck me. It was an effort to get up. 
and uh finally got up there and there was a wee waterfall and all and like oh, jesus christ i talk about it security kick it all just these big beautiful black men and big fat brazilian holes and yeah. all those here just they all look like garnet fructus adverts <laughs> and i took my fucking top off i had my big belly bear ham tits and the fucking <laughs> splotches of pink all right man looked like a fucking was an explosion in the yazoo factory <laughs> 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 went over to the waterfall right and like stood underneath it an ocean took pictures of me and she's like these are cute and i was like these them? no i can't buy it. they <laughs> oh, will never on. they will never see the light of day sir but that's fucking hilarious though yeah. that's what you want but you're, then, go, you're living your best life you're going up there you're taking a photo there was other fucking assholes with six packs yeah that's their that's their like job they're going like I, come on hike up this mountain i'll get a photo of me looking all sexy dickhead but ocean nearly fought a girl over the head of me you know oh. that's the ride or die right there and uh because we were at the waterfall i was getting the pictures taken and all and there's these two american cutties like behind her and um one of them goes oh my god i've never seen that shade of pink before <laughs> and then ocean turned around and was like like this here to them and then they just kind of stopped talking all right i thought that was gonna be way more dramatic chat shit get banged you know I mean? get banged. i've got witches on my side don't fuck with me <laughs> Yeah, you're like pink is the race. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, right now, were they black or something? Were they uh, were these, they POCs? No, they? these these were Brazilian. Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> these, were, these were Brazilian girls. These were Brazilian girls. Well, they probably haven't seen that shade of pink. No, definitely not. You feel like you should see what's on the pants. She had a spam. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're right, though. Fuck good looking people on holidays. Hey, show you pink now. I'm gonna rear naked choke this pipe. <laughs> Taking all the pictures. There was a couple too, sir. They're just the most gorgeous looking couple, like to the point where you're, you're like, I should even be around them. I shouldn't bother them with my existence. Yeah. You know? Getting pictures of the waterfall, kissing each other and all. Uh, Gay shit. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see them get up on stage and tell a few cock jokes. <laughs> Useless, sexy bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Useless, sexy bastards. That's exactly what they were. I don't know. Yeah, fucking, yeah. The, the, you do get people that are, I don't know whether I've just matured into being more of a creep now, but you will get people who are in a level of, like, good looking, that they're not attractive anymore. It's unattractive. It is unattractive. You're a freak show. You know, like, there was a girl, this woman, looked like a fucking Russian model mm. at, like, breakfast the other day. And I felt like, oh, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. What are you in heels for this time? Yeah. Have a decent seat like that in your room, would you? Fuck off. I love uh, people at that buffet. On, uh, you know, by the way, the buffet, absolutely demented. At yeah. this point. Like, fucking whatever the fuck you want. I was enjoying your description what, of it. Whatever the fuck you Sounds want. Sounds like heaven. Like, <clears throat> you had to have some sort of, like, you had to just be, like, accept the fact that you're not going to be able to have everything you want that day. So you just, whatever lap you do. <laughs> the plate's full and you go listen this is fantastic what were you stacking up there i was going hard on the meat yeah <laughs> of course pause uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then i went for breakfast <laughs> yeah bitch it's like hot 97 <laughs> <laughs> five fingers of fucking cheese i uh but i fucking <laughs> Welcome back to gay in the morning. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> no, yeah, because you, like, now, nah, like I said, um, you'll do a lap and you'll be like, oh, yeah, nice bit of steak. Oh, yeah, nice salmon looks good. And then you'll be like, oh, yeah, pad thai looks good. Oh, yeah, this fucking Thai red curry with the prawns looks good. That's insane. Oh, yeah, these samosas look good. Like, how much you can't, you can't just fucking these have not, everything you want. These like, are not buffet options. Like, oh, that's this is insane. Fucking, this is like DJ Khaled level. You ever play rugby? <laughs> We will get that later. Uh, but uh, fucking, these jalapeno limes are fucking. I don't think there's something in them from a wee bit woos. <laughs> Lime LSD. <laughs> uh, I've had enough of that. But yeah, you just had to call it at a certain point. But then you, like, you, you will see, it's great just people watching, just looking at the type of people at this thing. Oh, yeah. You'd see like the, the French dork with the fucking, the hot black wife. Mm -hmm. You'll see just like regular families. You'll see, you know, like, this couple with kids and the you know but the they're wearing all the gear like they've already been at the gym before they hit the buffet in the morning and they're walking around with fucking sweat coming off them and all just like and then you look at some people's plates and you're like why the fuck did you come on holiday 
Do you know? Like you're going like you know, nuggies and chips or what? No, no, but it, not even that exciting. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Like I looked around and this woman had um, she just had like broccoli and p clean like basmati rice. Oh, fuck off. And then like a bit of salmon or something. And I was like, are you on the cut? And, I, and she she didn't even look athletic. Like yeah, but I was like, you can't be cutting. Yeah, you shredding while you're fucking at this buffet where you can get anything you want. No, you can't be cutting in Tenerife. Nah, no cuts in Tenerife, lad. I wasn't cutting. <laughs> but so, Although weirdly, because it was you were you could eat whatever you want, and those five star places like you don't you know there's no fucking tuck shop or nothing. Like there, there will be some sort of slave on hand to get you whatever you want. So you can't just like <laughs> you can't you can't just willy nilly like you know snack all day and do weird like you'll go to the buffet eat that sit by the pool whatever if you want a wee bit of something you fucking wave someone hit the buzzer someone comes over hello sir what can you get you and then you tell them to go get your fucking crisps did you ever go too hard the paint of the buffet where you took too much and had to go for a wee nap well you go mental first day that's, yeah that's what that's what happens yeah you know and you learn how to pace yourself that first breakfast <sighs> wreck the gaff what was the breakfast buffet like whatever the fuck you want i love this pancakes Pancake. They make you pancakes. Jesus. They make you fucking omelets. Uh, there was just like fucking these orange like things. You take the lid off, and it was just like whatever you want. That's as so much, horny. As much bacon as you want. There's a woman do you a fried egg. She'll do you a wee mini eggs Benedict on a wee on a wee crumpet thing. She'll do you. She'll do you the omelet in that old like fish section. If you're a fucking pedo, would you be? A, <laughs> would you be a hollandaise man? Nah, I don't know what it is. Hollandaise can eat my ass. Yeah, it's not nice. It's all right, like, but it's not like there's nothing. It's in weird it. that it's a regular. You're like, you're like, hey, do you like, do you like a muffin? Yeah. Do you like a bacon? Correct. Do you like a poached egg? Affirmative. Do you want warm custard on it? <laughs> That's where I'm at with hollandaise. Yeah. You're like, fuck off. Ambrosia, fucking McMuffin. Like, if you were like, I'm, I love hollandaise, and you'd never had ketchup or brown sauce, tear away. Ketchup can get fucked too, though. Oh really? Not a ketchup guy. Okay. Brown sauce, man, though, all day. Um, I was telling you about that place. Speaking of buffets, when I got red shit, wasn't your double cheeseburger you just had? I but you know if it's there, you know if it's there, I'm not gonna go cray cray over it, you know. Yeah. Okay. But I'll, I'll go out of my way to get it, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's a place in Dublin, KC Peaches, mm -hmm. right? No, it's not to the same standard buffet strip club that you're frequenting. But it's a place in Dublin. Get this now, right? It's essentially like it's a buffet, right? But it's like christening vibes, you know. It's like goujons, Irish lasagna, yeah, 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 exactly that. Now the last half hour of business, you get a large plate for five euro, and this and the fucking cost of living crisis that we're currently in, nobody's doing it like they do right now. And you ought to seen the heap of shit I got yesterday before I met you. It was ridiculous. And I I didn't eat all day. Yeah, I got home to the house. It was fucking starving. I had mac and cheese. I had lasagna, I had wee bits of roasted potatoes, I had a chicken stir fry thing they had with rice, and then on top of it, I strategically placed four goujons, and I ate one of them before I, I got had to a the button and it went like, <laughs> like a pig. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what you do. Exactly. You go fucking apeshit. That's what it's there for. Now I'll wait to hear this. Meal, meal of the trip. Oh. Beef cheek in oyster sauce, right? So it was like a Chinese... <laughs> beef cheek took that shredded all the meat off it took a little taco wrap small fajita put that in there and then the slaw was like a red cabbage onion and then what felt like that daikon bullshit oh, yeah. with a like a pineapple juice kind of dressing on it put it together and I sent the picture to my sister and I was like I'm surprised these motherfuckers aren't paying me <laughs> fucking cheek is right for this sort of fucking you know ensemble. You bored end it. I re I, I revisited the Laurel Park with the the fucking the wheels doing backflips and shit. Mm -hmm. I'll run you I'll run you through the story right. Checked it the night before. We hired a car. Cooper Formentor. Google it. Looks mean as shit. Absolute crockish shite. Like mm -hmm. absolute crock. Plasticky bollocks. You know. Driving on the wrong side, wrong side of the car. Went to get in one day. Absolutely need the life out of some pointy bit of upholstery in the car. Mm -hmm. Thought I was going to have to go to hospital. Um, literally took skin off my knee, just kneeing the car. But anyway, Googled this fucking Laurel Park the night before, and I just quickly, you know, sweat my eyes and all. I was like, ah, it's fucking, it's only 20 minutes away, sure. Checked it the next day when we had Eddie in the car ready to go. 
20 kilometers away uh-huh. an hour and 15 minutes and yeah. Warium was like you fucking dickhead Rotten. you fucking dickhead it's like 38 degrees outside you stupid bitch and uh, on the way there I was like Jesus this car is ro- thank god there's air con because this uh, even the steering wheel's roasting and then I realised because everything's in Espanol I fucking <laughs> I put on the steering wheel heater <laughs> for like if you're driving the fucking car you know in Norway or something and the steering wheel's freezing and I'm like I can barely touch this this is absolutely <laughs> roasting and then it flicked it down three wee buttons and I was like oh it's out of way now I don't even know that was a thing that's crazy yeah, I know. <coughs> they, they also had ventilated seats so it was blowing a bit of air up my ass crack nice. which you know praise be to a laugh at oh, that well, you always take that and uh, anyway, we couldn't get Eddie to eat. thought he didn't eat that much of breakfast start driving up this hill you know like fucking zigzagging and the annoying bit is really tight like windy roads on the side of a cliff but then it's also like a hot spot for cyclists because they're they're like you know we go and do some mountain stages mm-hmm. so you're like in a queue of cars going behind some fucking cyclers asshole the whole way up and uh we're coming down the hill and i could just hear eddie in the back going like, <coughs> like this here and i look around and he goes <coughs> and, <he's> fucking, <laughs> and I, I said the morning i was like what do you mean he didn't eat anything for breakfast he's fucking <laughs> It's just fucking, it was like half a fucking full mushed up watermelon came out of him and like fucking bits of bread rolled. And baby's just like, baby's just, you know, that involuntary, like I'm, I'm being sick, so I'll empty my full body. Just yeah. like, <laughs> all down himself, all over the rented car and car seat. And I'm like, fuck me. Pulled in on like the fucking, on a cliff face basically. And all the cars are still going past us. And then got out of the air-conditioned car, and it's like, the heat is obscene. Like, I was like, fuck me. And I run around the car, and we start cleaning that out, and <laughs> taking him out of the car, but ch- having to hold him, too, because there's like a basically like a cliff falling into a fucking, you know, forest. Mm. And uh, it took his fucking trousers off and everything, standing there with a wee dick out. And because uh, he, <laughs> I hear Dad laughing, because he just barfed everything up, and we're and he's, he's like, Daddy, what are you doing? Are we, did you, we stopped the car. We stopped the car. And then we're taking his... T-shirt off and all he goes, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, are you? Uh, not surprised, we're fucking 10 kilos of bulk back here. Uh, I'm fucking Watermelon sh- and bread. I'm scraping your breakfast <laughs> off the fucking, the, the mat in the car here. <laughs> and, the, and I said to boy, and I was just like, fuck it, in, fuck it down that cliff. And she was like, no. <laughs> and then I was like, said, fuck it down the cliff. <laughs> I was like, who gives a fuck? Fuck, I know what you did last summer. <laughs> Not the baby, just the. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I was like, I took off. You take it off like a t-shirt. It's like completely soaked in vomit. I was like, just fuck it in there. Like who gives a fuck? <laughs> just throw it, throw it into the brush. All the wipes and all. I was like, she's like, no. Oh and it, she's, I'm like, I sure will keep him in the car, sure. <laughs> keep him in a plastic bag in the car. So did you fuck it down the cliff? Oh, uh, some bits when she wasn't looking like. Horse behavior. <laughs> what? Horse, <laughs> horse behavior. <laughs> Sure, the fucking mountain was on fire two days later. <laughs> you probably got incinerated uh, anyway. That's Mother Nature just taking care of it. Uh, uh, so I, I was, yeah, I was just like, sure, just fucking just wipe it and throw it away. Like that's that's such a great like first holiday as a dad with your son story. That's so good. And then we got to the fucking park and now there's this guy. There's this guy. We pulled up. There's just so many things that you're not banking on. Like we pulled up to the front of this Laurel Park place. And it's got a sign saying, you know, completo, like fucking car parks full. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, fuck me. This is like two hours after we left at this point, like mm-hmm. two bucks and a shite later. I was like, fuck me. I have to drive circles around this town. But as, as, I, as I, I sort of pulled in, the, the gate was closed and I just sat there for a minute, like on my phone, trying to see what was about me. And uh, this guy comes up and he goes... He's like, can I get, I think he was, you know, some sort of Middle Eastern, judging by the accent. He's like, can I get uh, one more space, please, one more space. And the guy was like, the guy's like, sir, there is no room for any more vehicles. He's <laughs> absolutely, pa-. and this guy, right, he's like, <laughs> this is actually what he said. He goes, but the, I am crippled, <laughs> right? And the guy, the guy was doing the fucking worst limp I've ever seen. The guy, the guy was doing a walk, like, you know, like if you took a shite and then you went, ah, the toilet roll is like in the hot press and you have to like walk with your legs apart and not let your cheeks touch into the fucking hot press to get the toilet roll. That's the walk. He's like, ah, oh, come up, this I am crippled. And then 
he turned around and like walked away with his legs really far apart and then eventually just you know like usual suspect just went back to normal walk <laughs> <laughs> i was like i was like i felt like yeah. oh, no, the guy definitely heard me pissing myself laughing like oh absolutely but That's... i felt like good. <laughs> i said that i was gonna go like what are you cripple with bro hammering <laughs> What sort of cripple are you? Talking about like pig do ring stick. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what do you got, bro? Ruptured scrote? <laughs> like, why are you walking like that? <laughs> I am crippled. But as, as if the guy was going to go, oh, sorry, you're crippled. I did not see you. I'm sorry. I will uh, I will tell him to move the bus. You know? Oh, fuck. I was crazy. dying laughing like, that's a fucking joke. But, and then we went down, you know, usual. The fucking... The propaganda that they play before the the wheel show is absolutely ten out of ten. Like they'd be like, some of the, you know they'll do it in Spanish, like blah, da, 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 and then they'll they'll play it again and they like kill them way too much time. I was like, get the fu- here. I see these flips. I was like, I know, I know it's, I know it's, you know, animal cruelty, but it is here, and you know, yeah. you can't put the shit. We've back decided and, to come You can't put the shit back on a horse. You yeah. know what I mean? Make it do a backflip. You know what I mean? I've got a fucking three year old here. Come on, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> They play the thing, and it's like you know, you know, like uh, a lot of these uh, these rare and endangered whales are, you know, orphaned, and we have to. They're basically putting a spin on it. Like, listen, thank God we're here, chucking fish at these motherfuckers, because if not, they'd be in the sea, dodging propellers, you yeah. know, eating bin bags yeah. and shit like that there. But it's safe here in this tiny pool. And they just keep playing all this shit and showing like horrific images of like whales being butchered at fucking, you know, markets and stuff. And they're basically going like, it's safe here. Just complete like fucking bullshit propaganda. And then for no reason at all, just like a 10 minute video on how they support the Ukraine. <laughs> With that fucking like, what's that song? Give Peace a Chance or something? Okay. Who, who is that? Is that like Beatles or something? I don't know who it was. What did I say? I was like, I was like lesbian propaganda. <laughs> Go on, love. Give peace a chance. <laughs> Are you a lesbian? Or would you give peace a chance? But oh, they played God. the whole thing, and I was I was about to just stand up and heckle it. I was about to heckle at a whale show. <laughs> Get the fuck a whale on. <laughs> you know, Get like, them hoops out. You know when you, <laughs> and also, I want to see it do tricks. Uh, you know when you fucking... You know, <laughs> you know when you go see someone and like... Or have you ever opened for someone and they don't really give a fuck? Yeah. And they're like, here, get fucking, get the wheel on. You're not even fucking doing back for your shit. And then, and then the splash zone is like absolutely, like they say splash, like you're going to be like, oh my goodness, is drenched. Oh, you get drenched. Absolutely yeah, yeah. fucking yeah. tidal wave. Were you in the splash zone? There was, the whole thing's a splash zone, basically, yeah. but we, we were in the splash zone. And then yes. the fucking wheel goes up and just whoosh. And then, but you could see like that first, fucking wave a load of people just gonna be like fuck that i'm fucking out of here mate fuck that did you have a splash zone attire on were you ready for it i just had t-shirt and shorts nice you know i'd enjoy it he did he 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 loved it but then he he didn't like being splashed that much so he was like hiding behind our arms like yeah that's cute Uh, but uh that was it you know, but animal cruelty, but a fucking hard to bet. Hard to bet. Go out there, get yourself a buff face. Yeah, we'll do a backflip. You know, they're like, oh, come in here and see the lions. And you go in, the lions are absolutely clapped. Aye. Lions knackered, like yeah. roasting. Looking, hadn't even brushed his mane or anything, just absolutely haggard. Any penguins knocking about? There was penguins. I enjoy them, man. And, uh, you know, there's a Danny Brown line where he goes, bitch pussy smell like a penguin. <laughs> and I was in that penguin enclosure and I was like, yeah. Yeah. Smells like old hot family and <laughs> hot is on like the appearance or nope. hot is in temperature. The <laughs> Clammy vag. <laughs> it smells like f- fucking fifth day cock. Oh god, god almighty! Did you get a dose of fifth day cock in Tenerife? What do you mean? Like, did you? I know where he's just like. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. My brain's not working today at all. I'm fucked up. Do you suck any dicks in the telly for a month? Ah, get peace a piece of chance. Give my patience. <laughs> chance. I saw a fella at the buffet. Oh shit! I saw a fella at the buffet, and he had a t-shirt on. Said, "Man of quality, don't fear equality." Nice. Nice. Gay. Gay. <laughs> I went, now there's a man gets pegged. That's a guy, that's a guy with a that's a guy got fucking Roger up the hole last night. 
That guy's trying to get posted the Women's March. Uh, well, it's not some sanity. You're either trying to, you know, side road your way into some posts, or when I when I seen his wife, I was like, nah, she fucking was gonna beat him if he didn't put that on. Oh, why? I'll give you a call to you fucking cuck. You know. Yeah. But that, uh, you know, it was good. It was good times, all in all. Um, great times. And then, know, is it? No and then I fucking. Uh, Funniest thing that happened the whole time, which isn't really a great story, but I drove into just the wrong car park twice and had to pay twice to get out of the car park at the airport. And Maureen, like, you know, like, of all the comedy she's been around all these years, never has laughed as hard. I wonder if there's audio on that. <laughs> <I'm so> <laughs> <laughs> Crying, like... Because I, I had to go up and pay this motherfucker twice. It was in totally the wrong car park. Which, how did you end up in the second time? Because I, I actually don't know now. You no, know, because it's like a long car park like this. It's uh-huh. split up into like, but there's hundreds of cars all in here. Yes. And there's an entrance there and an entrance there and an entrance there. And then the, re- <laughs> the rental one is the end one. Uh-huh. And I came straight in, straight in there thinking it was all linked. Mm-hmm. And I went, oh, fuck, I'm going to have to come back out. And then I came back in the second time and went in the second entrance going, this is it. And then I was in the same place and I had to pay 75 cents to get out. And she was crying, laughing. That is funny though. And I go up to the guy and I'm like, I've just been in. I was like, I'm in the wrong car park. Can you let me out? And he goes, you in for one second, you have to pay. <laughs> and I went, but I'm in the wrong car park. And he goes, ah. And I went, ah, fuck this. I'll just pay. <laughs> <laughs> 75 cents as well. And then, that's possible. I think what she was laughing at was because I came back and I was like, fucking Spanish. No, fucking, you <laughs> let me out, no? Fucking dickhead sitting in a box all day. Fucking enjoy your life, you fucking wanker. And then I drove in. And then I drove in again. And she's like, you're going to have to go up there and pay him again. Oh my God. Scundered like absolutely. That's great. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's great. It's oh. hard to get getting away too, you know. Oh. Nice. You were a bit racist in Hawaii. You were telling me yesterday. Like, what did I do? The guy in the life jacket. You told me. Oh yeah, yeah. right. So you so can't swim. What? Can you swim? I can. Yeah. Surprisingly. Not well. Like like it doesn't look good. Mm. It looks like I should have something on, or like you know they'll throw me in one of them wee noodles. But I can carry myself out in the water. Mm. And uh, so we were on this boat now, right? It was the last day of the Hawaii trip. Me. Was swim. everyone wearing a life jacket? No, no, no. So, okay. like, it was like a sunset cruise, right? Lovely, lovely stuff, I must say. You know, you get out there, you see the sunset, and you start thinking about life, you know? And then they have a wee bit uh, after that where you can jump in the water, and uh, everyone jumped in the water. Now, when I originally got on the boat, right, there was this uh, black guy there with his kid, great crack, and uh, he came up to me. I'd bought a couple of beers. They were selling a couple of beers in the boat. So Graham McDowell always said that. You know, I was like, couple, couple of beers. beers. <laughs> couple I was beers. like, I'm going to have a couple of cold beers in this boat, right? So the guy comes up to me and he's like, man, you're really knocking back those beers. And I was like, oh, I shut up. Bitch. I'm on my holidays. <laughs> and then he goes, oh, you're Irish. So I guess some stereotypes are true, huh? And I was like, ah, you fucker, you. I'll get you back to that one now. There's a long boat ahead of us now. You better watch yourself. The car just puts on a white hood. <laughs> I'll get the ghillie suit on, get you. And, uh, and drown. So, <laughs> <laughs> so then uh, uh, when, we, when we park up the boat to jump in the water, right? Um, I jump in, Lucas jumps in, Ocean jumps in, you know. Again, took a video of me jumping ocean in. Ocean in the ocean. I was like, get rid of that. Get rid of that too. Doesn't look good. We pencil Dave. And uh, we what? We pencil Dave. What's that? <laughs> like that's how I dove in. Like I did the straight. Oh, you did? You know? Yeah. Is that what that's called? Pencil Dave. Isn't it? Yeah. Aye. I've never heard that in my there life. Although with me, it's like a fucking thick blackboard marker. <laughs> 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 the bingo fucking dauber. <laughs> but I got thick biro. The biro bounce, and then uh, so I get in there, right? And uh, the black guy's over there. Now he's. He, it was optional to wear a life jacket. <clears throat> He had on a life jacket. Oh. And I was like, ah, here's my chance. And I fucking doggy paddle over to the hair. And I go, hey, I go, you have the life jacket on you? You went for the life jacket? And he goes, yeah, man. And I had to. And I was like, I guess some stereotypes are true, aren't right they? <laughs> Get it up, yeah. And then did you do this in the water? <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> The reason why that's funny is because they said black people can't swim that way. Uh, and he said that to me previously and I thought, well, fuck yeah, I'd get you in front of the wave. Yeah. And I did. And I did. <laughs> and I'd do it again. <laughs> <laughs> White <Wait, pardon. laughs> 
Ah, fun. But see, that's that's an example of like you know racial humor. Racial humor is that's unbelievable. Good. He was dying laughing at it. You know, he was doing the yeah. classic like black guy reaction where he's moving his arms like bat, fucking thump in the water and all. Yeah. The Mike Rice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He was racing in the fucking water. Dig in the face. He's laughing that hard. It was great. Uh, then I offered to buy him a beer and he didn't drink, so. Oh, uh, right. No. But yeah, so. fun, man. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. That's great. And then I went to the Joshua Tree, took mushrooms there. I think, about, I think I'm going to make an indie album now. <laughs> yeah. It was great. It was unbelievable. Does it, it give you mad confidence, mushrooms? I need to do mushrooms. It's like a... Can we go do mushrooms? Yes, we absolutely should. I do, my, I have the same fear everyone else has, which is there's something deep down that's going to unveil itself and my mind's going to be broke forever. Listen, or if it does, acid? I'll walk you through it. I'll be your shaman. You'll be all right. I'm telling you. It's like... I'm Aaron the shaman. <laughs> what, what, what it is, right, is... Because I've had bad experiences on the way... <laughs> I should start doing ayahuasca instead of charging in my bunker. Crack, shout on me, cow. I was gonna. I, I thought I had a Halloween outfit idea one year. I was gonna go as the slut shaman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Uh, uh, fuck. Hey, what now to shout on me, cow to get that fur eye on? Shout on me, cow. <laughs> Two for one dealing in the shrooms. <laughs> oh, fuck. But, um,. No, it's a, it's a great now. The issue was now I was scared because oh. these were all essentially strangers until three days prior. At this wedding? At this wedding. I only knew Peter. I, I mean I knew the bride Eva, but like I'd only met her once, so you know, how well can you really know someone after one interaction? But her friends were great crack and her and she was great crack. We were all hanging out and then on the last day one of them came up to me and was like, you know, we've organized this trip. Um it's kinda just like, you know, uh, her like friends from secondary school and their boyfriends we're all going to go to the Joshua Tree we're going to take mushrooms we're going to drink and we'd love to bring you as well yeah so I was like ah, Jesus Christ now it's really emotional so I was like I fuck it but I was scared now because anytime I've done psychedelics it's been with like core friends mm -hmm. like you know and uh, I was like I don't know how I'm going to react with a pile of strangers about me and I'll be honest the first 10 minutes it was a lot and it, it came down then into a real nice, it was lovely, having good conversations with what people. Is, what does a lot feel like? A lot is just like, you feel them being activated, essentially. And you're like, right, and you look at everyone that's around you. And it was funny because there was like 14 people there and they all kind of came into their own wee pockets, you know? So you just had to find a pocket that you were like, I can do this for a minute. So yeah. there was ones out in the pool, swimming, fucking jumping in the pool. I was like, I can't jump into the pool on these things. <laughs> I'll not be pencil diving in this. So I, I was like, where's that ham at? Went into the kitchen, I made myself a wee sandwich and just sat down and started chatting to this fella, JD. And we got real deep and existential and it was mm. lovely. Nice. Yeah. The ham sandwiches will do that to you, man. It was great. And then uh, one of the dolls that uh, was telling you as well, I was sitting out and I was watching the stars were, and she's from Rhode Island. So it's like Rhode Island, the, the accent is a cocktail of like New York and Boston, right? So we're sitting there and watching the stars, clear as day now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. I thought I'd seen it all now when I'd seen the stars outside your house in Dungannon, <laughs> but, this <was laughs> but this was a different level. Get and real deep over a ham sandwich there now. <laughs> and, uh, and a shooting star came down. Now I'd never, have you seen a shooting star before? Uh, yeah, a couple of times. Fucking crazy. I seen, I seen the best one I've seen, I was driving the car and I near shit my knickers. Just went like, yeah, they're like a scary thing to see. So like, I'd never seen one before. I was sitting back watching and then it happened and I jumped and then she turned around. <laughs> she, the fuck was that? <laughs> she turned around. She turned around. She turned around. <laughs> Someone throw a fag out of a brain. <laughs> She 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 you need slap on the side. Is your CD scratch? <laughs> oh, you all got right now. Fuck me. She turned around and she goes, she goes, um, <laughs> what's the matter? You never seen a shooting star before? <laughs> and I was like, I'm a fuck, right? And then. <laughs> is she the guy's wife out of Wall Street? <laughs> Literally that kind of vibe. And then I goes, uh, she said, I never knew, I never noticed you had a thick accent until that moment there. And she goes, wish I could say the same about you, you fucking mech. <laughs> <laughs> you 
getting roast by this cut out. But the way you told me yesterday when you were like, fuck me, it's low. I didn't fucking even realise your accent was sick now. That's why I lie. <laughs> she probably was like, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> you pig fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Jesus! Uh, Jesus, sir, that's boxing years, right? Fuck! Fucking you and get far left hand there, day. This is fucking nice. Oh, oh Jesus! But I have great time. And she sucked the offer. People. <laughs> no, no, Jesus! No, you can't get sucked off the Joshua tree. You know why not? You need aircon at least. <laughs> you know, <laughs> fucking swan as it does stand up there, man. Gonna suck that. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and um. No, great people. And it was just a good story too, you know, to like meet these c**ts and then them offer to do something like that. And they were all like childhood friends and there's just this random c**t in the middle of it. It was a nice time. You're the, you're the golden retriever, though, you know, we'll take you anywhere. Um, they said I had good energy. They said you had good energy? <coughs> Sorry, bad throat, but good energy. <laughs> just... um, it was fun, I have to say. Yeah. The wedding was mental too. Best man speech. I was on my worst behavior. That did you riff it, man? Oh, sir, come on. Now. I took a picture and said tonight's office. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was fun. But then, see, you, you know what? Whenever people are talking about, did you talk all slow and hello. My Basically. name is Aaron. And then, um, you know, whenever you're at a gig and you're you're seeing someone. Uh, and they absolutely killed, and you're like, fuck me, I'm gonna have to put a shift on after this. Mm -hmm. Peter's dad went up, right? And very like sentimental speech, like lovely speech. At the very end, motherfucker pulls out. So he's originally Saxophone. from Poland. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> he did scat for 20 minutes. <laughs> but um, <laughs> so he's originally from Poland, right? Moved to Canada. Peter's now oh. moving, Peter's now moved to California. And um, he brought with him a jar of soil from the from the yard that his dad lived in in Poland, and his dad gave that to him, and he took the soil with him to Canada, <laughs> and now he's giving the soil to Peter. Everyone's crying, right? Yeah. And I'm going, Jesus Christ! I'm about to go up there and talk about us taking edibles in the cheesecake factory. <laughs> Why the fuck am I going to bother this? You should have just nipped into the car park and scraped a bit of dirt in their cup. And they're like, <laughs> this soil is from the time that we met in LA. <laughs> it's just a jar of my own shit. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine, you them glass mason jars, imagine you shot in that eye. That'd be a scene, eh? It'd be like a bus lava lamp. <laughs> be rotten. I'm fucked up today, eh? I'm fucked up. I'm an autopilot. <laughs> I'd be like, everyone's crying, I'd be like, what the fuck am I gonna do with that? <laughs> The fuck am I fuck gonna? This. What am I gonna do with that? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I gotta put that in the case there. For uh, fuck's sake, it's so funny. You couldn't have posted it to me. <laughs> Americans too. See the way they dance. Like yeah. talk about white tears yeah. of white. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tears of white. That's the, that's the name of the podcast. <laughs> My new that's the album you wrote at Joshua Tree. <laughs> My name is Armand Khan, and this is uh, Tears of White. <laughs> Here's the first song, Jar of Soil. <laughs> <laughs> is that where the Arctic monkeys cook the goose in Joshua Tree? Is it? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, did they, they, did they not go, did they not be all like, you know, you look out on the dance floor and then they went to Joshua Homme's house yeah. from Queens of Stone Age and came yeah. back and they were all fucking, you know, slick back hair and thinking they're all cool. Imagine I came back and started doing that. Wearing the like tie dye t shirts and the fucking. You yeah. Know. Big Grateful Dead fan. Man. <laughs> Peace and love. Yeah. Jars of soil. Stars. Stars. <laughs> Fuck me, you know. <laughs> you better not take this man to a planetarium. He'd fucking I'd have a heart attack. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck. It was the same with me going to see Oppenheimer the other day. Oh my God. I just. <laughs> I just I, now, so I just had that hectic day of traveling, right? Did you just lose your voice? Didn't yeah, you? literally. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Speaking of jars of soil, is that locusts? <laughs> it looks what like fuck. fuck? <laughs> what? That looks like an I'm a celebrity fucking challenge. Oh, I can't do that. Man, that must be <laughs> actual. That, that must be actual. Get rid of that. <laughs> I was. I was that legal to post. 
Did the guy smuggle these out of the country in his asshole? <laughs> Let me smell that. You don't even want to. It's not good. Oh my god, sir. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That must be actual tobacco. That's actual bag. That's fucking disgusting. Anyway, what? Um Oh yeah, so I flew back and uh was on the Tuesday and I checked into the hotel but beforehand so they wouldn't let me check in until three o'clock, right? And I had to kill time until then. This is like eleven o'clock, right? So I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna go. <clears throat> I'm gonna go <clears throat> and I'm gonna watch Oppenheimer. And I fell asleep immediately. No way. Right? It's like literally fifteen minutes into it. And I, I was like, oh, well, sure, case scenario, I'll get a kip. And then the fucking <laughs> atomic bomb scene happened. And I fucking <laughs> shit the bed, sir. <laughs> and I literally, like, remember I was telling you that story about me and my dad, like, <sighs> way back. And we went to see, um, <clears throat> what was the film? Uh, Jason Bourne. And uh, there's a scene at the very end where he gets shot in the back. And my old boy in the middle of the cinema just went, oh, fuck. <laughs> I did the exact same thing with this. It woke me up and I said, Jesus. <laughs> and the whole cinema was laughing at me. <laughs> You're probably lying there going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Dude, like, there, I don't know what the bang was that woke me up, but in the actual bomb scene, it's like silent. Oh, yeah. Silent. There's, but there was some fucking mad... Woke me up. Oh, is that what they do in the movie? That he just looks out the window and it just goes. Yeah, but it's very effective. Yeah, well, they, sure, they did that in Good Vibrations as well. When the the band sing Teenage Kicks. Oh you, yeah. You, you know, you don't hear it. You just see him going like ching. Yeah. You know, that sort of business. So there you have it. Do you feel replenished? Do you feel recharged after your holiday? No. No. I was ever the three-year-old child who was actively trying to kill himself. That's true. You know, guys fucking wrong around fucking buck mad. Thought we lost him at one point. Did well the whole trip. And then one night, oh, he, t- he just ran off. And it was a big square in the middle. Maureen ran around one side. And she couldn't see him. And I could, I could see her body language just getting a bit flustered. And I got up a couple of seconds later and just w- walked the other way. And then... As I was walking, I see on the other side, they've got like a door open into a room with a bouncy castle. And I was like, well, he's in there. 100%. But how long were you looking for him for? 20 seconds. Okay, good. <laughs> and then I walked over and uh, he was at the door and he'd stopped at the door going, mommy, mommy. Probably to go like, take me in here. And then I just, I seen him. I was like, well, he's, that's where he's going. Like, Smart. You know, it's like fucking, he's like a magpie for bouncy castles. I get it. And then me and this fellow were, you know, having a bit of dad banter. And uh, he's like, they fucking, they love it, don't they? They fucking bounce your castle. And uh, he goes, problem is, some of them are fucking 18 months old and some of them are fucking 10. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you know, cause I was like, this motherfucker here, 15. <laughs> motherfucker, you 30, you know? I was like, get the, there's a couple of them kids. I was like, yeah, get the fuck off. Yeah. Like, <laughs> there's like two year olds on this thing. Yeah. And you're clattering about, you big fucking agent. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, a lot of that. Lot of what fun. is bouncy castle like? Cut off age. Read the room, just you know. To, you know, yeah. you can hire it for an adult party if you want. But you yeah. know, if you say if I was ten, eleven, and I walked in, I was like, right, these are babies. Like, yeah, you have a bit more sense. Ah, you fucking take yourself on the yeah. bar, you know, get a couple of drinks. Yeah, <laughs> get yourself, <laughs> get yourself a Long Island. He said, Jack Daniels, play with you, play with your mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you. <laughs> You're on the Jackie splashes. I got a few drinks in, you know. I wasn't, I wasn't pished at any point, like. But it might be the only way to drink now. Jack Daniels, Jackie splashes, yeah. I've, I've now, I, I don't know what has happened to me in the last like month, where, like, if I smelt a beer, I'm like, get the fuck away. I, I just can't be arsed with beer <coughs> at all. Shout out to Michael Turner for introducing us to that. The Jackie splashes, yeah. Because yeah. I avoided it when I was younger, and now I've really matured into it. Yeah, might get into bourbons. You know, start buying deer ones, tasting it. But like fucking beer, I do like beer, but the, the, if you stay on it, the hangover is vicious. It's the only it, more vicious hangover is a wine one. It's beer like hangs in your body for about five days. Like you're sweating and pissing and shitting it out for too long. That also makes me sleepy. Like mm-hmm. if I'm trying to really rage, yeah. it's very hard to. If I'm trying to take it up a notch and show these motherfuckers <laughs> it's dumb. what's up. I'm on a rage, man. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <clears throat> we had a 
we had a fun experience yesterday. Um, after both of our holidays, uh, Aaron was like, I might go to this Ireland match. And I said, get two tickets. I'll come down to it. And sure enough, we did. Went down to the old Aviva Stadium. Did you have a good time? Oh, it was great. It was a great time. That's your birthday present, by the way. Thanks. It's a weird thing to do. Be like, I bought that. That's your birthday present. Yeah. But I'll take it. Two months out. Two months. And you're like, and that's 2023, 2024, <laughs> <clears throat> and 2025. Yeah. Uh, that's you now to your 40th. <laughs> but it was, uh, yeah, it was good crack going down there. That was great. Great stadium. Great match for you to go to, like a first rugby experience. Fucking great. Ireland, England. And he, he was like, is this a friendly? And I was like, this is never a friendly. Non-friendly about it. Non-friendly about an Ireland-England match in Dublin. I, see, the, I was expecting the price of a drink to be like 10 times worse than what it was. Mm. It wasn't that bad. What'd you pay for those Carlsberg bottles? Six euro. Yeah. It's not It's, it's still not a like, bottle of beer, like. Yeah, I know. But like, they could get away with more. Probably. But there's like thousands and thousands of people. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> everyone pushed too. Fuck me. Statement in the way in, then boys. Everyone pushed. Yeah, in the lap. Yeah, he goes, There's your comedian from the podcast. <laughs> he said podcast about 15 times. And then I, 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 I was talking to him and I just went, I, and just did this or something with my hat. And he goes, Look at you in disguise and all, trying to be in disguise. And I'm like, You're dressed like a leprechaun. <laughs> You and your three friends dressed like a leprechaun, and I'm in disguise. You fucking idiot. Also, it's not a weird thing to do if you're actually from Ireland to dress up as a leprechaun. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Like, <laughs> it's a bit weird. Yeah, but I was trying to make sure I wasn't <clears throat> being culturally ignorant in Hawaii because I got the Hawaiian shirt. Mm. One of the big ones too, boys. Brown's called Aloha. Oh, nice. Yeah, I went on chatting with the boy. You know, took me around all his shirts. There's a couple of options I had now, but the one I sent you is the one I got. Bet you, uh, I can't imagine the chat you'd have with someone like that in the shop. Because oh, you're, okay. you're like, he goes to buy a bottle of Carlsberg and <clears throat> he's like, oh, like, where, where are you from? And I'm like, Aaron, leave it. <laughs> leave it. I just like talking. The match has started. I just like Come on. The and what would you drink if you were out now? <laughs> hey. <laughs> I just like talking to people. I know when you paid in the match and it's happening and you're late. And what were you, like, have you lived here long? And all, what sort of bars would you be going to? And like, <coughs> rap. I'm like this. <laughs> rap it up. <laughs> rap. Well, hey, hey. Time's money. Come Time on, Seb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. And, uh, but it was, uh, it was funny, like, um, a lot of hardcore fans there, like, really into sport. Like, that big bitch beside me, <laughs> she was all fucking, ah, come on, he's pulling him down the scrum, no. <laughs> ah, come on, forward, no. Offside, like you know, like she was commentating on the game, yeah. And then it was Keith Earl's hundredth cap, and oh, yeah. and he came on, and you know everyone's out on their feet clapping. And that all. was really cool. And he goes, you know, you pr you'd probably said enough, like what the fuck's going on here? Comments that the girl on your side was probably rolling her eyes, going for fuck's sake. Keith Earls comes on and he's like, who's that fella? And she's like, it's Keith Earls. It's his 100th cap playing for Ireland and uh, it's a big deal today. And he's like, all right. Well, decent, decent. Yeah. And then he scored in the corner with like a somersault. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that it was, was fucking class. unbelievable. That was, I really enjoyed that. And uh, I, everyone jumped up and I near tipped over the fucking stand into the next thing. I, I was vibrant laughing to myself about that for about 40 seconds after. <laughs> just, a, just the image of you falling into Because, you know, like you, you, um, You've got the seat, and then the the actual foot room is the size of your foot. Yeah, like you have a foot bit of bit of space to yeah. like put your feet. For a stadium, you are sardined in there, like. Oh, well, yeah, that's a whole point. Fucking, it was yeah. great though. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'd go back. Just stood up and give it the old, uh, and it fell over the fucking thing. Yeah. But it was great times, and then we walked up the street, and of course, you know, you can't go far right run into a couple of fucking guys from up here somewhere. You know? I went in for a pint one. No. Good crack. I did not stop sweating. I thought I was going to do that oh, thing where you, where you come back from uh, holiday and you're like, oh, I need a wee sweater. Fucking sw sweating the, my bollocks off yeah. the whole time. I did four sets after and I was drunk. And uh, You said that like you were in the gym. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I did four sets to fucking failure. <laughs> no failures here, lad. No failures here. <laughs> he turns around to me and he goes, here, you know, fucking keep this to yourself, but here, I feel a wee bit faded. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. We fucking, <laughs> I was like, you were drinking before I met you. 
you had another pint and then you had about fucking four more and then about two more in there yeah I'd been out that long I was just starving you know yeah. what I mean I was like you've been drinking as long as it's taken me to get absolutely starving here it was great though there is you can't be doing it all the time because like, you go down a bad path um, the mother would be worried sick but um, <laughs> you know sometimes gigging drunk it's a lot of fun like because you're on the same level as the audience and yeah like it is fun. Did you did you tell them? Oh yeah. You're like everybody's out fucking fair enough. Now. Actually, I was I was real cheeky. You know, I was uh, I was saying I was just back from the Ireland England game. I goes in English in here. A couple cheered and I was like, oh, fuck, he's just gone. <laughs> Try to work. I was saying that there was one bit where Ireland kicked the ball up and then uh, one of the England players caught it and he sort of caught it and did a wee fumble and then dropped it forward and the crowd went Rah! like went mad. And I said that, and I was like, "That's like, that's like a good crack cheer." I was like, "I feel that feels very Irish to be like, ah, you fucking agent, you, you know." Because I did turn to him and say, "What happened there? Yeah, why, why, is, why is Ireland just fans cheering for that?" Yeah, and I was like, "Because oh, it, it is almost like a like a piss take, like not malicious, but like, hey, you fucking, you fucking silly bastard." Yeah, uh, but then that, there's the woman beside me. <laughs> Whenever your guy, what's his name, fucking. Vinapoli or whatever the fuck his name is, place for England. One of them English boys. Um, he he did like a late or like a high tackle on your guy Andrew Porter, and then they sort of yellow carded him. And then while he was off, they upgraded it to red, mm -hmm. and he stayed off. And your woman was like, because they were reviewing it once they'd carded him, and then uh, he took a sip out of this water bottle and kind of threw it at the Irish huddle, and she was like, "Are oh, you fucking dirty <laughs> bastard?" <laughs> Oh, you fucking scumbag, will you fuck, get off? Get fucking out of there, you and then, the, and then And then the card got upgraded to red while he was like, he was on the sin bin, and she was like, don't fucking race, fucking there, you you fucking bastard. Is what they actually call it, the sin bin? Yeah, you get sin bin. You also get it at Weight Watchers. But <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking shop. <laughs> fucking 18 vapes later I am I'm going monk mode For like the next six months I swear to god What? I'm going monk mode I'm quitting Monk mode? I'm quitting nicotine I'm, I'm not going to be drinking Except for the two exceptions I will make Is the live podcast And then my mate's back from Australia I'll drink with him And that'll be it Until Christmas Two major sesh Seshes Two major seshes on the horizon Nah well, we'll do some taste tests before we get out of here. Ah, uh, let's do it. These are some sort of sweets. I'm scared even. I mean, it... oh, it's licorice. Licorice. Oh, uh, no. Licorice. Look at that. We butt plug there. <laughs> Put that up your ass. <laughs> Threatening aura. Ah. Uh, it's salty. Ah. Uh, I don't know why I spat it back into the. It's salty and licorice. I can't taste this, that. What's the, what's, what? what the fuck is wrong with Norwegian people? Is this chocolate bar called Skitter? <laughs> <laughs> Skitter! <laughs> Donator! Skitter! Skitter! And if you're not up for a Skitter, a fork lover. You know about a fork and get a fork lover in you. Oh, I pull the <laughs> Athlete. <laughs> Man, you are fucking falling apart, this uh, guy. I got to really shoot up my gooch there. Now, your man's triple bag these, and they're like, I don't know what he's triple. So that's going to be triple bagged them. He's triple bagged them, and they're fucking, uh, they're not even open yet. So I, I can't, I can't, not today. Not today, Jesus. I, I think I will, Bog. I'm so hungover today. Bruh. Bruh. Can you smell them already? I can smell. <laughs> like me and a hot day, I can smell through the bag. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, I, I, I can't I'm, help. I just the the condition I'm in today, I'm not gonna be able to eat one of these. But I'll, I'll open it. You get the waft. I mean, is this gonna be like those cans of fucking fish people have, and they just open the oh, can? So I can smell from here. <laughs> Maybe give your throat. Get a bit of Norwegian fucking fish flaps. Fuck, she's well, she's well sealed, isn't it? Bruh, I'm scared. 
Oh no. I don't think we should do this. Well, <laughs> I mean, they look good. Ugh. It's not that bad. It just smells like fucking seaweed or something. It's not too bad. Get one in you. Crack the corner off it there. <laughs> Those are the skips. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're called. Fish skips. Fish skips. Fuck, I could dry hand on there. <laughs> not the worst, but like, I wouldn't be running back for it. No Pringles? No. Brown cock? <laughs> that's a really sad bar snack yeah that's like if you fucking just cut, collected all your toenails over a year and then put salt on them oh I don't know that's, that's made me take a turn <laughs> Get a wee skitter in there and we'll see ya. <laughs> <We're gonna laughs> I bet you the skitter's actually class. What must the breath be like in Norway? Oh, dirty old bastard. I was wondering if I could maybe kiss you and you're like, what? Uh, get away from me. Yeah, licking, licking out a whale? Yeah, I'll hoach a Norwegian. <laughs> Stinking Norwegian bastard. <laughs> Smelly hooch. You smell like Norwegian <laughs> Shout out to Norwegian breath. Let's see this. Get there. No, no, no one else has got fucking. It's got fucking. Oh my god. Whale blubber in it. Nice. Guilt free crack. What do you mean, guilt free crack? It's like crack. It's great. I mean, that's not that great either. I really like it. Let's get their bar. <laughs> <laughs> get that fucking skitter bar in there. Oh. Right, I'll have a go at this smash bar. And then we'll get we'll slide on over to the page. Sounds good. Let me see. This is great audio. Fucked on a glass inside, dude. This is great audio here. I'll tell you what, Norway, your snacks are shite, but they're well wrapped because uh, I need I need a, I need a fucking welder to get in this bastard. Oh yeah, the smash bar. That's why I call my dick. Like a lion type bait, is it? It's exactly like a lion bar. Nothing's better than a bit of audio eating. ASMR. That's good. There's some freak at home just pulling the wire of himself. Irish guys trying Norwegian snacks. Oh, Mr. Trek. Oh, it's salty. It gets salty in there. Oh, why it is salty? We take a perfectly good uh, <laughs> chocolate bar, and it's a, when, on first impression, you think it's tasty. That's the nicest. And then after a second, salt. I can't imagine what them fucking salty fish are like. It's 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 like yeah, like a liquor soul sort with fucking salt in it. These are terrible. Yeah, just bad. The rain was nice though. <laughs> <laughs> what a fragile today. No, no way. You jumped in a fucking <laughs> tree star. <laughs> like you're like a threw a fucking bucket of acid at you. Know? Like a shelter dog. Fuck it. Stay away from me. I don't want to be bad to fuck. You have a Patreon on the day? <laughs> oh, I don't. No rest for the fucking wicked. Yeah, wicked bastards. Yeah, bastards. Um, <laughs> right. <clears throat> I'm all salted up and nicotine down in my mind. Shout out to Willie Palmer for sending them over. Yeah, shout out to Willie. That was great. I should have been uh, more polite and, see, and asked him what the fuck he's doing in, in Norway. What takes you to Norway? Yeah, let us know. Fjords and all. You mad bastard. Right, we'll get out of here. Make sure to go to patreon.com forward slash bomb squad pod. Get on there. The live like podcast that we did in Lavery's is now available. Fuck yeah. On uh, on Patreon, so that's well worth getting on there for. Stay on, get on, stay on. And uh, you can get access to all the other episodes, etc. Um, and get yourself a ticket for the Waterfront Hall. And get yourself tickets for fucking the SSE. Get it on. For me. We didn't break the streak. What's that? We We, you know, we fucking... Tomorrow this will come out, you know. Aye. We haven't broke the streak. We haven't broke the streak. When you will break a streak is when them salty fish get through you. <laughs> and you'll be, your cocks will be streaked up. <laughs> Big style. I can't wait to pull my wire, mate. <laughs> 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 can't.
<laughs> Seven days, you said you hadn't emptied the tank. Hello. This man's been this man's been gripping onto it for <laughs> eight days now. What am I going for? A Guinness World Record? <laughs> It'll come out like Guinness. <laughs> the head on it. Oh jeez, the, the pipes haven't been cleaned there now. Have you, have you not pulled the wire yourself in seven days? I'm in other people's houses and stuff. <laughs> you say you never pulled your wire in my house? No. Come on, man. I've never once pulled my wire in your house. Why not? I didn't shut in your house for like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Because I'm fucking... I don't... I don't <laughs> like, even, even... Right, I said a demo. So I said a the demo. And, um... You know, I'm there with like his wife and kid. Yeah. I mean, I can't do the shites that I do in this man's house. Oh, you grew up in the shit in too? his family home. <laughs> Your so, man's not gonna know what's gonna hit that house when so, she gets home. I I get up and I go for a coffee and I'd shite in there, just so like I wouldn't have to. Yeah, it might it might be all right, but I couldn't risk it. <clears throat> what do you what, like? How bad can it go? Well, I mean, I've been on the rip for like two weeks, uh-huh. and I've been eating shite. You know, yeah. poke and whatnot. I don't know what's coming out of there. Well, you're, I mean, like, you're, you're bound to have shot at some point, like. Yeah, but not at his house. All right. I'll say, but I'll say to people, if, if they're in my house, I'll be like, here, just if you need a shed, go. You did, you did say that to me. I I like, don't be, sit, don't be da- sitting around here awkward, like you can't shout, shout I, away. I think actually one time you did a go for whatever, like I first started going around yours and you were like, it actually pisses me off that you haven't shut my house yet. Yeah. <laughs> People are always like hovering, you know. Yeah. Oh, mate, uh, right, I'll, sure, I'll shoot on here now. You're like, shite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shite there. Shite there. Make like. your own teeth over there. Chill out. You know, mate? Well, you're different. You're If you're in my house. I usually walk into it like half three the next day and I've been up for fucking eight hours and you're like <laughs> and I'm like Aaron Aaron get out of my house <laughs> if you're not gonna shit or get out of the house <laughs> <laughs> right, we're gonna go here before his larynx comes up on this fucking microphone uh, see you next <coughs> Week, my guys, great to see you again. The you know, the boys been away for a week's here. Obies are all keeping well because <clears throat> we hear the smile like damn. <laughs> <laughs> what episode was this now? 21. Our final episode. 21. <laughs> Before McCann died of everything. <laughs> right, we'll get out of here. Cheers. You be skeptics. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now that was a fun one. What's wrong with your voice, man? Fuck, fuck. I, I laughed and then never came back. <laughs>